Hi guys, it is a spectacularly gorgeous, over the top beautiful day here in the collapse of global industrial civilization here at Bugs in a Jar Farm on this glorious Saturday evening. What would that be? July 9th, 2022, somewhere along there. So, uh, anyway, guys, uh, Saturday is when I used to do my hopium apocaloptimism roundup rant, and it just, I, I don't know, it, I'm just having a harder time dealing with this foolishness, but, uh, so I actually did this entire rant on this story Thursday night at the laundromat, and my, uh, computer decided to eat it, so we're just going to briefly touch on this, and then, since it mentions the word Brazil, in the article, uh, we're going to use that as a segue into the real story, which is like a PS to mongabay.com, since apparently Rhett Butler doesn't like to talk about deforestation in Brazil. We're going to have to let the mainstream media do Mongabay's job for it, but we're going to just real quick look at this article from those clueless morons over at Popular Mechanics. If you had to, good Lord, I mean, the, just the standard bearer of the techno-utopian uh, Popular Mechanics has been spewing this crap since the day they were born, probably up before I was born. Anyway, so this is their latest no one else could come up with this better than popular mechanics. Space bubbles, there you go, space bubbles could be the wild idea we need to deflect solar radiation. Alright, this is one sentence. This could be one of the most clueless, apocalyptic sentences I've read in my life. Okay, take it away. Popular mechanics. A raft, and I've never, I don't even know what they're talk, talking about the word raft throughout the story. A raft of thin film silicon bubbles deployed from Earth into outer space and stretching out to the size of Brazil could potentially block the sun's solar radiation from further warming Earth possibly helping to not only stave off climate change, but potentially reverse it. There you go. We're going to send a raft of space bubbles in the size of Brazil into outer space to reverse climate change, hopefully not sending us into a new ice age covering the planet with a mile of ice. Yeah, so this is from uh, MIT, good old Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Yes, the MIT group believes that if the Brazil-sized raft of bubbles can deflect just 1.8% of incident solar radiation before it hits the Earth, they can fully reverse today's global warming. Yes, the team does suggest having some sort of system to ensure the Brazil-sized raft of space bubbles stays in place. Yes, MIT cautions they do not view this project as a replacement to current adaptation and mitigation efforts, but as a backup solution should, should climate change spin out of control. This is the, uh, the mad scientist, I love his name. Carlo Ratio, Carlo Ratio, uh, quote, 
We believe that advancing feasibility studies of a solar shield to the next level could help us make more informed decisions in the years to come should geoengineering approaches become urgent. Uh -huh. Should it become urgent to jump out of the frying pan into the fire? But anyway, enough of that nonsense. So uh, that's going to have to do it for uh, the hopium roundup. But now we're going to get back to the reality roundup since this story was nowhere mentioned in Manga Bay. Uh, we're going to have to let Reuters News do Manga Bay's job for and do Rhett Butler's job for him. So take it away, mainstream media. Okay, I forgot to mention the, the story on the space bubbles had 38 comments. 38 comments about the space bubbles saving the planet. Alright, so now we're going to move over to the story. Deforestation in Brazil's Amazon hits record for first half of 2022. Deforestation in Brazil's Amazon rainforest reached a new record high for the first six months of the year as an area five times the size of New York City was destroyed. Preliminary Brazilian government data showed on Friday. So this is Jair Bozo Nero's own government saying this. So my guess is, you know, what is the real number if this is the one, you know, that Bozo Nero is letting get out to the mainstream media. According to, to the official records uh, from the Brazilian space agency INPEI, from January to June, 3,988 square kilometers, otherwise known as 1,540 square miles, were cleared in the Brazilian Amazon. That is an increase of 10.6% from the same months just last year and the highest level for that period since the agency began comp compiling its current data series in 2015. Destruction rose 5.5% in the month of June to 1,120 square kilometers, also a new record for that month of the year. So if you're not a, aware of this, the Amazon, the world's largest rainforest, contains vast amounts of carbon, which is released as trees are destroyed warming the atmosphere and driving climate change. Deforestation is creeping. I, I don't know about your definition of creeping. Five times the size of New York City in six months. I, I'm not sure. I, I would call that leaping. Uh, maybe there was a loss of translation from Portuguese. I don't know. An area five times the size of New York City in six months is that creeping or leaping. <clears throat> anyway, deforestation, according to the mainstream media, is creeping deeper into the forest. In the first six months of this year, Amazonas State, in the very heart of the rainforest, recorded more destruction than any other state for the first time. A Reuters witness on Friday, so this was the day after Manga Bay was published, a Reuters witness as yesterday saw several recently deforested areas near the roadway 
west of Amazona State Capitol, Manaus, where lush jungle has been turned into expanses strewn with fallen, dried trees. This year's rising deforestation is also feeding unusually high levels of fire, which are likely to worsen in the months ahead, said Manola Machado, a wildfire and deforestation researcher at Woodwell Climate Research Center at the University of Oxford. Brazil recorded the highest number of fires in the Amazon for the month of June in 15 years, although those blazes are just a small fraction of what is usually seen when the fires peak in August and September. Generally, after the loggers extract the valuable wood, ranchers and land grabbers set fire to clear the land for agriculture. Said Machado, if we have high deforestation numbers, it is inevitable that we're going to have high fire numbers as well. This is extremely bad news. Close quote. Yes. Experts in Brazil blame right-wing President Jair Bozo Nero for rolling back environmental protections and emboldening loggers, ranchers, and land speculators who clear public land for profit. Uh, Bozo Nero's office directed requests for comment to the Environment Ministry. Yes, they being the environment minister for Brazil, that would be an easy job, which said the government, you know, under Bozo Nero, has been, quote, extremely forceful, extremely forceful, yes, in fighting environmental crimes, yes. Environmentalists are banking on lefty former President Luis Inacio Lula da Silva, who presided, and, 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 and again, guys, and you know, even Rhett Butler is, uh, is, is guilty of this. Okay. Uh, da Silva, who presided over a steep decline and deforestation during his presidency from 2003 to 2010, uh, winning in October's election for a turnaround in Brazil's environmental policy. This, uh, this is a very misleading statement. Okay, uh, you know, obviously, De Silva, anybody, uh, the, the, you know, the, the CEO of Weyerhaeuser Corporation would be an improvement over higher Bozo Nero, but anyone thinking for one minute that De Silva, who I fully support, uh, don't get me wrong, is going to stop Amazon deforestation, you know, De Silva to Bozo Nero is Biden to Trump. Uh, is what we're talking about here, but uh, good God, compared to Bozo Nero. A poll released this week showed Bozo Nero losing to Lula by 19 percentage points in an expected runoff. It will not surprise me at all if this dude is assassinated between now and October. I'm not actually predicting this, but you better believe if uh, this De Silva dude takes a bullet to his head between now and October, I will come on here and brag about it and say I told you so. I will be uh, more surprised if the man is still alive in October. Uh, I mean, look who he's going up against. Uh, he's, he's going up against some, uh, some evil SOBs. Uh, regardless, yeah, regardless, this year 
is likely to have high level levels of deforestation and fires as both loggers and land grabbers seek to capitalize on the weak enforcement ahead of a potential change in government experts say this is Romulo Batista a forest campaigner for Greenpeace Brazil summing it up in the mainstream media quote it is very difficult to be optimistic for the next few months in the Amazon. Yes, and if you're wondering uh, how many comments on that story, we had 38 on the space bubbles. How many comments on that story? Well, it's a no-brainer. If your answer was zero comments in a planet of 8 billion people, give yourself a gold star. But uh, I've got to wrap up this P.S. to Manga Bay and uh, start preparing for uh, the lightning bug show here at Bugs in a Jar Farm. I highly suggest you get out there and enjoy the lightning bug show while you still can. Bye guys. Alright, hello. You don't need to enjoy the lightning bug show. Then I'm going to give you your dinner. Then you can go to bed. <laughs>